Hey guys, I'm going to give you some advice moving forward if you've got a toddler that's ready to transfer from a cot to a big bed. My biggest advice ideally is if you can avoid transferring your little one too early. So anything before the age of two and a half, ideally, if you can keep them in a cot. Just because they're not really at the age where they can comprehend what you're trying to achieve. What you'll probably experience is you'll go from a cot to a bed and in the first week, two weeks, couple of months, you're probably quite lucky and you might get you know, good results with sleeping baby, sleeping toddler, no issues. But then the difficulties generally start to happen where they realize they can get out of bed and they start either playing or walking around or coming out. And it's just because they don't comprehend that they're, they're meant to stay in bed. They don't really care. So once they get to the age of two and a half, comprehension is a lot better and you can generally start to implement some consequences and some reward as well um, when you do the transfer. My biggest, my other biggest tip when it comes to transferring is try not to sit on the same bed or even lay on the same bed as your little one when they are either going to sleep or reading their bedtime stories. So if you can try and set up a reading nook in the room, that's where you do your bedtime routine or your bedtime stories in that area. So therefore when it's bedtime, it's actually bedtime because if you're already on their bed or in their bed, trying to break away at that last moment is where sometimes the battles will begin. Yeah, it's really hard for them to break the association with you in their bed. So if you can avoid that to begin with, that's gonna help. And also a tip for children over the age of two and a half, generally by that age, even sometimes two, a uh, sense of fear has already started to kick in. So you might wanna use a night light um, in the event that your little one is either waking up through the night scared not wanting to go to sleep through the night, um, a night light. So something that's red or pinks or oranges in tones that just helps with the production of melatonin and it doesn't interfere with melatonin through the night either. Um, and another quick tip might be just to leave their door open because a lot of children think that that's, you know, a really exciting thing. Hopefully those few things help when it comes to transferring from a cot to a bed.